greet you all in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus. Good morning. Good morning, people of God, all the way from Durbanville, Cape Town. God bless you in the name of Jesus. I just come on here for a few minutes just to release what's on the heart of the Father to you, people of God. And uh, I pray that you'll be blessed and you'll be encouraged with what the Lord has to encourage you with today, this beautiful morning. Praise the Lord. And we know that this is the day um, that the Lord has made, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We know that this is a day of new beginnings. Amen. Praise the Lord. And we know that God's mercy is new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. And God is faithful. God is good. And he is greatly to be praised. Amen. And God is seated on the throne. Amen. Bless the Lord. So we will rejoice and be glad in it. Praise God. Amen. Because we serve an awesome God. We serve a faithful God. We serve a good, good God. We serve a good, good Father. Amen. And He is perfect in all of His ways. Amen. Bless the Lord. So I've just come on here, people of God, to um, encourage you what's on the heart of Father for you. Amen. Bless the Lord um, at, in this morning devotion. And I pray that the Lord will bless you and that you will be encouraged with the word of the Lord that's on the heart of the Father. This is what Father wants you to know. This is what your heavenly Father wants you to know. Um, this is what God wants you to know as his precious child. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So God wants you to know that you are unique. Praise the Lord. Um, Psalms 139 verse 13. For you did form my inward parts. You did knit me together in my mother's womb. So God wants you to know that you are unique. There's no one like you. There's no one that can be like you. You were born to be different. You are unique. You are set apart. Praise God, there's no one like you, and you have been divinely purposed on purpose for purpose. Praise God, so you are unique. That's what the Father wants you to know today, that you are unique. Praise God. Hallelujah. So don't try to be like somebody else. Don't try to be like um, anybody else. Don't try uh, to copy um Anyone else, praise God. You be whom God has created you to be. Praise the Lord. Amen. Remember, you are not designed to fit in, but to stand out. Praise God. So therefore, you need to know, uh, Father wants you to know that you are unique. Hallelujah. Praise God. And so you need to love yourself. You need to uh, em embrace yourself. You need to be true to yourself and be true to God. You have to be true to yourself. This is very important. Don't put something out there for others to celebrate you. And yet you are living a life of pretense and performance and you don't know yourself. You've got to be true with yourself. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. As you allow God to be true to you. He's the one that reveals you to you. Praise the Lord. Amen. So it's important that you have to reclaim yourself back. Reclaim yourself back. This is very important so that you don't live under the shadows of other people. Other people's thoughts, other people's perceptions, other people's opinions, uh, how people want you to live. You, as a child of God, have to live the way God wants you to live according to his principles according to his word this is very important people of god so father wants you to know you are unique amen praise god hallelujah glory to god amen and that god will use you so tremendously 
where you at amen in your world father god hallelujah thank you in your world to make a difference in the lives of people where god has assigned you to be amen praise god so remember you are unique this is so important uh, father wants you to know that you are unique number one amen you are unique number two God wants you to know that you are special. You are special. Ephesians 2 verse 10. For we are God's own hand, handiwork, recreated in Christ Jesus, that we may do those good works which God predestined for us, that we should walk in them. You are special. You are God's masterpiece. You are are special even when people treat you inferior uh, uh where they uh, um, don't make you feel like you are special let me tell you today praise the lord hallelujah that father wants you to know you are special you are special to him amen you you are god's uh prized possession you are special Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. You are special. Hallelujah. Number three, God wants you to know that you are precious. You are precious. First Corinthians 6 verse 20. You were bought with a price, purchased with a preciousness and paid for. Purchased with a preciousness and paid for. Four. Amen. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Made his own. So then honor God and bring glory to him in your body. So number three, you are precious. Amen. Glory to God. Good morning to each and every one of you in the precious name of Jesus. This is just a word of encouragement, a morning devotion from the heart of the Father that I felt led by the Holy Spirit to come through to you and to encourage you uh, this morning. Amen. Praise the Lord that hope will arise, faith will arise, and that you will be strong in the Lord and courageous in God. Amen. Praise God to go about your day with purpose. Please share this broadcast uh, if you can. Amen. I would really appreciate that. So number three, Father wants you to know that you are precious. Amen. You are precious. And, and, and you're going to know this people of God because you are bought with a price. You are bought with a price. In other words, you were redeemed. You were redeemed, praise God, by the precious blood of of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, God was in Christ reconciling the world back to God. Amen. Praise God. So Jesus paid the highest price for you. Praise God by giving his life as a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Jesus is our propitiation. He is the sacrifice that please the Father. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have been bought back. Hallelujah. By the precious blood of Jesus. Thank God for giving us his son as a sacrifice to take our place. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That we can come under the new covenant and we have been taken off the slave market and we are no longer for sale. Glory to God. We are no longer for sale. So we belong to God. We are children of the most high God. Glory to God. So you are precious. My God, you are precious. You need to know that you are precious Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so you live your life to honor God and to bring glory to God in your total being. You've got to respect yourself. You've got to respect your body. Amen. That you did. You have to know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Number four, you are chosen. You are chosen. 
you are chosen. John 15 verse 16, you have not chosen me, says Jesus, but I have chosen you and I have appointed you that you might go and bear fruit and keep on bearing and that your fruit may be lasting so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Amen. So number four, you are chosen. Jesus says, praise God, hallelujah, you did not choose me, but I chose you. I have chosen you. So you have been chosen by God. You have been handpicked by God. You have been selected by God. Hallelujah. You have been appointed by God. This message is for someone. Hallelujah. To know that you need to know that God has singled you out as you engage in this broadcast. Praise the Lord. And you come into an agreement to the word of of the Lord. Amen. And so God wants you to know that you have been chosen. You have been up Appointed. Amen. Number four, you've been chosen. Number five, you have been appointed. By who? By God. And here's the key why. The key is for each and every one of us is to bear the fruit. Bear fruit and keep on bearing fruit. Amen. It's a daily, it's a daily lifestyle of us bearing, bearing the fruit of the Spirit of God, according to Galatians chapter 5. Amen. With the help of the Holy Spirit. Are you understanding this people of God? And then it says, whatever you ask the Father in the name of Jesus, it shall be given to you. It will be given to you when you pray correctly. When you pray correctly. Amen. You pray in faith correctly by the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. And you believe the report of the Lord. Number six, you have to know that you are valuable. You are valuable. You are valuable because God has placed so much of value inside of you. Come on, somebody. You are are valuable. Mm. Praise God. And so you got to know that Father has placed so much of value inside of you. You carry so much of value. And praise God so that you need to walk in your identity in Christ. Amen. And you walk with your head held up high as you know that you are are valuable. Amen. Praise God. You are valuable. Are you understanding this people of God? You are valuable. Amen. Praise God. You have to decree and declare the word of the Lord into your life. Amen. Praise God. You have to tell yourself that you are valuable. Don't think that you are not valuable. You are valuable and God has placed so much of value inside of you. There is a people that awaits you. The gifts, the talents, your voice. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Know that you are the light of the world. Okay. So number six, you are valuable. Hallelujah. You are valuable. Glory to God. You are valuable. Amen. Praise God. Number seven, you are significant. You are significant. Amen. When people tend to treat you like you are insignificant because they look at status or they look at the external part of you. Family of God, I want you to know that God sees you as significant. You are are significant. Don't come to the final decision based on people's negative opinions, comments, and statements, prophetic words, even people in the church. Are you listening to me today, people of God? You've got to know that you are significant. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And you live a life of significance. And be unapologetic about that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise God. You hear and obey God. You do what God has called you to do. Amen. Praise God. And you hear and obey God. So you got to know that you are significant. Are you understanding this? People of God. You are significant. 
significant. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. I believe that as you humble yourself in the sight of the Lord, praise God. I believe at the appointed time, the proper time, the God time. Amen. God is going to lift your life up. Amen. And give your life significance. Amen. Praise God. You're going to impact people's lives. You're going to impact. You're going to, you listen, you got to be intentional about that, right? You, God is going to use you to impact people's life, to influence people's life, places, companies, businesses, uh, 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 ministries, nations. Hallelujah. Amen. With what God has placed inside of you. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. You are significant. Number eight, you are a somebody. Come on. You are a somebody. You are a somebody. When people treat you like a nobody and people say that you're a nobody, I want you to know today that you walk in the truth of this revelation of God's word that you are a somebody. Now, when you know that you're a somebody, you will stop living your life as a nobody or like a nobody. Come on. It's time for you to end that matter today. Stop living your life like a nobody because you see yourself as a nobody and you've taken in people's comments, statements, perceptions of them saying that you are a nobody. Come on, somebody. You are a somebody. Mm -mm. Listen to me. Don't live your life trying to prove with others that you are a somebody. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Trying to live your life to prove with others that you are a somebody. Even though they may look at you as a nobody. Even though they may look at you as a nobody, don't live your life each day trying to compete with others. No competition. Don't try to live your life to compete with others. Are you understanding this people of God? Amen. Because you're not yet to be a man pleaser, but a God pleaser. Are you understanding this? Okay. So be assured to know that God looks at you and sees you as a worthwhile somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You got to see yourself the way God sees you. You got to think the thoughts of God towards you. Hallelujah. Stop being bound by people's negative comments, statements, and perceptions. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is your day of healing. This is your day of deliverance. This is your day of breakthrough. Glory to God. So you in competition with nobody at work, at school, in the ministry, amen, in the business aspect, going forth from this day. And in this day, praise God, you are in competition with nobody. Are you understanding this? Praise God. So you so you don't have to try. You don't have to try to be somebody that you're not. Stop living a double standard life to try to win uh, the affection of people or the validation of people. My God, are you listening to what Father wants you to know today? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. So, 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 so you don't have to try to be somebody that you're not. Don't do that. Praise God. You are causing self-harm and self-destruction to yourself when you're trying to live your life uh, through the eyes of other people, family, friends, uh, uh, colleagues, uh, uh, people in the ministry, people in leadership. Listen, you can't live your life trying to get approval and satisfaction and 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 validation from people. Are you listening to me? People of God. Hallelujah. So you don't try to be somebody that you're not. Don't be something that you're not. Don't be somebody that you're not. And a lot of times people are dealing with that. They don't know and acknowledge that they are a somebody. You are a somebody. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Glory to God. So don't try to be somebody that you're not. Be true to yourself. Be whom God has created you to be. 
Do what God has called you to do. Say what God wants you to say. Be right in the perfect will of God. And let me boldly say this. Be unapologetic about that. You don't have to explain uh, 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 um, yourself to people. Come on. You don't have to explain yourself to people. You don't have to uh, uh, give excuses. Come on, somebody. You don't have to give excuses. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop trying to live your life that you must always explain yourself to people. People, no, stop that. Be true to yourself. Glory to God. Stop explaining yourself to people. Stop paying attention and giving attention to the critics of the uh, uh, that is coming from people. Listen to me. You set your face like a flint on the Lord, and you continue to move forward. You continue to pursue God. Hallelujah. Don't give in. To your critics. Are you understanding this? You hear and obey God. You go with God. You be true to God. You stay focused on the Lord. Come on. So you don't have to try to be somebody that you're not. I'm not here to be like anyone else. I am unique. I am special. I am valuable. I am God's property. Are you understanding this? Amen. God has given me a grace. He's given me an assignment. He's not giving your assignment to me. My assignment is for me. So therefore I have to honor the Lord in what he has graced me to do. Are you understanding this people of God? This is a word to speak into your spirit for you to bring you out of the clutches of the enemy, the lies of the uh, 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 of the illusions and the deceptions of the enemy. Come on. This is a word to stir your spirit up for you to move forward with God. For you to move forward in God. Hallelujah. So that you can live. Amen. Uh, as a, as as a victor, you can live as a winner. You can live like a winner. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. And you can move forward and do great exploits for God in the earth. Amen. Praise God. Okay. So you don't have to try to be somebody that you're not. Okay. Stop living a life of pretense. Stop living a false life. You even not being true to yourself. And that's why you give people easy access in and out of your life. And they cause harm and damage in your life. And then you blaming yourself and you blaming other people. Listen, it's time for you to take self introspect. It's time for you to ask God to help you in those areas of your weaknesses. Even those that even 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 the things that you've gone through traumas that you've encountered and you're still dealing with and you're going through and because you have not received your inner healing and wholeness and deliverance that's why you can't see yourself the way God sees you you see yourself as your trauma let me say this to someone that your trauma is not your identity your identity is in Christ Jesus glory to God hallelujah and so you pursue after your healing you pursue after your deliverance you pursue and go after all what God has in store for you amen don't think God does not have things in store for you he has great things in store for you he has great things in store for you praise God the father wants you to know this awesome truth this awesome truth amen so don't try to be somebody that you're not because you are somebody in the eyes of God you are a somebody in the eyes of God are you understanding this glory to God hallelujah you are a somebody in God amen number eight you are a somebody are you listening to what father wants you to know you are a somebody in his eyes so here's the here's the key you must see yourself the way God sees you Somebody put that up for me quickly. See yourself the way God sees you. Amen. Know that you are loved by God. Know that you are chosen by God. Know that you are unique. Know that you are special. Know that you are valuable. Know that you are the apple of God's eyes and know that you are destined for great things. You are destined for great things. There is greatness on the inside of you. Come on. There is greatness on the inside of you. There is greatness on the inside of you. Glory to God. Amen. So you are a somebody. Number eight. Amen. Number nine. You are royalty. Number nine. Father wants you to know you are are royalty. Every born again believer 
is royalty. Amen. Praise God. So, so you are part of the royal family. Amen. You are part of the kingdom of God. You are a kingdom ambassador. You are a kingdom citizen. Come on. Ah, thank you, Father. Amen. Praise God. So you don't see yourself the way the world sees you. You see yourself the way Father sees you. Glory to God. So you are a part of the royal family. You are royalty. Are you understanding this? You are royalty. So now that you know that you are royalty, then there is a way that you have to conduct yourself. And you know that if we look in life today with the royal family, there's a way that you have to walk. There's a way that you have to dress. There's a way that you have to do certain things to set the standard, to know that this is the standard of royalty because they know that they are set apart. Are you understanding this people of God? So you need to know that you have to be separated from the things of this world and be set apart unto God because you are royalty. So there's a way that you have to walk. There's a way that you have to talk. There's a way that you have to dress. There's a way that you have to carry yourself in the church, outside of the church, wherever you go to the mall, to functions, funerals, weddings, gatherings, your everyday life, even in your own home. You've got to walk like royalty. You've got to dress like royalty. You've got to Think royalty. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You are royalty. That's what Father wants you to know. You are royalty. You are part of God's family. So therefore, you are God's citizens. You are kingdom citizens. And you are kingdom ambassadors. You are in this world, but not of this world. You are a part of another kingdom. You are a part of another kingdom. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Number 10. You are favored of the Lord. <laughs> you are favored of the Lord. And we know that the favor of God is eternity. You are favored of the Lord. You got to see yourself as God's favorite. <laughs> oh my God, glory to God, hallelujah, you are favored of the Lord, amen, praise God, you are favored of the Lord, amen, you are favored of the Lord, no matter what the brothers tried to do, or what they did do to Joseph, uh, by, 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 by selling him, by, by putting him into the pit, I want you to know, it doesn't matter what family has done to you, and trying to do to you, and people have done, or trying to do to you, I want you to know, and I'm here to encourage someone today, amen, praise the Lord, the word of God says that God was with Joseph, I'm here to tell you, God is with you, someone needs to hear this, God is is with you. God has not forgotten you. God, he's El Roi. He sees you where you at. He's the God that knows you. He's the God that will take care of you. He's the God that will defend you. He's the God that will vindicate you. He's the God that will protect you. He's the God that will provide for you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That is your father. Come on, somebody. That is your father. Father, you are favored of the Lord and know that though you might be going through a pit experience, but I believe that God is releasing you through this word, releasing you and elevating you. Amen. Praise God to your position of the palace. Amen. Hallelujah. That you're going to live. Amen. In the overflow of God's goodness, mercy, grace and favor upon your life in Jesus name. I prophetically decree and declare the word of the Lord to you today that you are God's favorite. You are favored of the Lord. You are favored of the Lord. Oh my God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are favored of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. You are favored of the Lord. You are favored of the Lord. That's what you got to know. Amen. You are favored of the Lord. So family of God, in the midst of chaos where there's confusion, disorder or complexity, I'm here to challenge you for you to be willing to be determined to remain true to God. As you set your face as a flint on the Lord 
and take heed to the word of God that has come through this broadcast. And be encouraged to keep your mind stayed on God in his word and be in habitation in the presence of God. Continue to seek God's face. Continue to seek God's face and know that he will keep you in perfect peace. My prayer for you today, may the Lord of peace himself grant you his peace and the peace of his kingdom at all times and in all ways under all circumstances and conditions and may the peace of Jesus Christ rule in your heart from today. In Jesus name I pray. Amen, 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 amen. Well, family of God, that's what the Lord wanted to release to you today, for you to know who you are. Amen. Listen to me. When you know who you are, there's three keys. Number one, know who you are. Number two, know whose you are. Number three, Know who lives on the inside of you. I'm going to say it again. Number one, know who's you, who you are. Number two, know whose you are. And number three, know who lives on the inside of you. Let me just release this one. Number 11, you are a winner. You are a winner. You are a winner. You're not a loser. You're not a victim. You are a victor through Jesus Christ. So you are a winner. You are a winner. Number 11, you are a winner. Number 12, you are purpose. You're not a pain. You're not a pain. You're not an accident. You're not a mistake. You are purpose. God has divinely, divinely purposed you in the earth on purpose for purpose. You are not a mistake. You are not an accident. You are not a tragedy. You are not an unforeseen circumstances. You are purpose. So I challenge you today and each and every day that you live a purposeful life. Be purpose driven. Every day you wake up, it's a day of purpose. It's a new beginning, a new chapter. It's a day of purpose. Today is your day of purpose. You have a purpose. You are purpose. Purpose simply means the reason why you were born, the reason why you exist. You are alive. Because God has a plan and a purpose for your life. Every day is a day of purpose. I always say to the Lord, Holy Spirit, I yield my total being to you and I allow you to lead me guide me, govern me, and direct me in me for carrying my purpose out and fulfilling my purpose and also making known to me what is my purpose, what is my for this cause. Because Father, I want to do everything what you want me to do, exactly how you want me to do it, and I want to say what you want me to say. I don't want to do nothing without God. I pray that you come to that place each and every day. Hallelujah. 
So family of God, take heed to the word of God. Lift your head up high now. Your father's on the throne. Holy Spirit resides within you. And know that you are more than a conqueror. Number 13, you are more than a conqueror. Number 13, you are more than a conqueror because the greater one resides on the inside of you. You are more than a conqueror. Number 13, you are more than a conqueror. Number 14, you are more than an overcomer. Number 14, you are more than an overcomer. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. That's who you are. That's who you are. That's who you are. Amen. Bless the Lord. So you are more than a conqueror, number 13. Number 14, you are more than an overcomer. Through Jesus Christ, you are victorious. Amen. Praise the Lord. God is not, listen, you're not born to live a defeated life. No. No. Number 15, you are potential. You are potential. Number 15, you are potential. God has placed so much potential inside of you. Stop undermining yourself. Stop undermining yourself. You are potential. There's so much of potential that God has invested inside of you. So I challenge you today, climb your mountain. No matter what challenges come your way, climb your mountain. Look unto Jesus who is the author and the finisher of your faith. Climb your mountain until you reach to the top of your mountain and that is where your potential is. Know that you are potential. You have potential inside of you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So blessings to all of you family of God in the wonderful and precious name of Jesus I pray that you have a blessed day I pray you have a fruitful day in the Lord I pray that you have a productive day in the Lord and I pray that you will take heed to God's word amen please share this broadcast on your Facebook pages Thank you all for tuning in. Love you all so much with the love of the Lord. God bless you. Amen. God bless you. God favor you. God increase and expand in your life. And may, may you live a life full of God significance in your life. And may God grant the desires of your heart according to his will. In Jesus' name. Have a blessed day ahead in the Lord. Have a fruitful day ahead in the Lord. And know that your best days are ahead of you. Your best is yet to come. Amen. God is doing a new thing. And God is doing a new you. Love you all so much. This is Apostle Joseph Osborne. God bless you. Shalom.